What up? It's your boy NWP, and today, well, it's the end of the weekend in the quad feed, so I think it's time that we give some bonus tips on how you can improve in your gameplay. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, if you want to enter the giveaway, there's a link in the description. 50 bucks, your favorite gaming currency, Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. If you want to get COD points, V-Bucks, whatever. I'm not going to judge you. It's up to you. Do your own thing. But you don't really have to if you don't want to. So, you know what I mean? But I've come up with four tips that I think most people are completely unaware of when it comes to Call of Duty in general. And these four tips will absolutely improve maybe not your overall gameplay in terms of how you you know control your character and actually play the game but these four tips will make it so that you get more kills make it so that you get more kill streaks and make it so that you're always ready for the next fight rather than being a wet noodle basically you don't want to be a wet noodle you don't want to be a nerf bat you want to be a razor blade cutting through every single opponent that you come across and really being ready is probably one of the most key aspects of that entire situation okay so we're gonna start off right away with mini map awareness okay not just map awareness but mini map awareness the acoustic sensor can help you understand what I mean by mini-map awareness simply by helping you get an idea of how far away people really are in terms of what, like, the mini-map will obviously light up in the direction where somebody is, but th this will let you understand in the amount of the pacing from when they can show up on there to when they move, you know, to visible area um, greatly, basically. So if you want to like get a little bit of bonus help there for in that regard, you can use the mini map uh, or the acoustic sensor to help you understand your mini map just a little bit better. But it is very crucial that you understand the distances that correlate to the mini map when you're playing because like right here, knowing where these enemies were and knowing where they you know could be is a huge difference and uh, it, you know it's going to get you those kills and i've always said and i'm a big proponent in believing that in call of duty compared to any other shooter requires map positioning more than actual gun skill or aim this is not a joke this is just how the game plays out so if you really want to get better start understanding your mini map and understanding your basically your map glitches like your head glitches your what corners and cover you're going to be able to get to easily so that you can transition around the map much more smoothly okay and that this alone i promise you it's right off the top the biggest tip you can get is positioning over anything else okay not necessarily camping okay but positioning over everything else now the next tip number two is going to tie right into the understanding the mini map and positioning and go right into understand what specialist will excel in what map and why and there is multitudes of reasons to this okay so you have specialist abilities you have specialist weaponry and all of these things equate to different things and will excel in different maps and will excel in different situations so <clears throat> understanding how to use these uh, abilities and weaponry will absolutely make you a force to be reckoned with and, and like every single time you get to use them so in terms of <clears throat> this little goofy thing right here, the seeker mine, this obviously is just going to kind of like, you know, stun somebody. But what you can really use it for is to understand where people are around the map. Okay. So you can understand where people are. And then there's this bad boy. Okay. Now, when I said knowing what specialist to choose, okay, so you have 
maps that are a lot more open you have maps where there's lots of corners and you have maps where there's going to be kind of waves spawning like in this map where they came through in bulk right there and because of that i was able to with profit get multiple kills in that spot for that quad feed kill now with that being said at the exact same time there's there's maps that are like this one where say batteries grenade launcher would excel heavily because you can get around corners you know basically anything that's going to get around co <clears throat> corners in this regard is going to excel substantially so as you've seen just from that quad feed and load knowing the map with you knowing what specialist you have and how to use it you're going to get a lot more kills okay now tying into that again with that okay going into our third tip is quite simply understanding the kill streaks and how they work together and really i didn't do it well this time but you really want to sync up your kill streaks together uh and what what i mean by that is don't just call them in as you get them unless you're running really really separated streaks obviously and you need your streaks to help you get more streaks uh, I would personally say stack, like in, I would I call in the Mantis, the Chopper, and the Strike Team all together. And the reasoning behind that is, is qu quite simply, the Mantis and the Strike Team will protect the Chopper from being shot down a lot longer than any other, you know. And it's, that's kind of the same thing with the Thresher and other streaks where they're impossible to shoot down or they're ground based and you know much more resilient to being attacked that you really really can just use your streaks to protect your other streaks and that alone right there is going to get you more kills from your streaks okay so if you tie in mini map awareness and positioning what specialist and now you can, you protect you choosing the, and understanding how to get your streaks to, bet, to net the most kills. You're, that's three tips right there, boom, that have put you above and beyond most other players. Okay, most people are out there just running willy nilly. They haven't really put up you know thought into anything. Even their loadouts aren't even well thought out. Um, and, and these these little things that take you like two seconds and are actually part of the game interaction will greatly increase anything the natural raw talent okay for you getting kills now as our final tip you know we went through positioning and all this type of thing right there but for the fourth and final tip we're gonna say reloading and healing which are about the same thing in this game really okay the resources that you can use to you know continue you know uh, more or less basically your health and your your ammo are both replenishable by reloading so in a sense so you really want to time everything properly don't take your hand off your weapon when there could be another gunfight like just immediately like there you know almost another really good tip for in this regard would be like don't stop shooting until you know there's nothing left to shoot at um, but I will say that reloading and timing your reloads property it properly is great for helping, uh, you know, be able to fight more often and get more kills. And because of this, you again, you'll get more kills coupled in with the other three. So that's going to do it for me pretty much in this video. And I hope that these tips have helped. And I hope, you know, they weren't too obvious because a lot of people don't seem to be putting in a lot of effort into it. But thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one.